it's me, Renee, I'm back, and as you can see, I have a book haul for you guys. I bought quite a few books this last few weeks now, well, yeah, I planned to do a book haul in August, that didn't happen. So, yeah, I have, yeah, I have some books for you. First, we have the most recent we bought, we have uh, Loki, and Gru some good guide to Love for Schiller, uh, which is the Norwegian title of a bad god's guide to taking taking blame so it's the second in a series middle grade series about loki it's a british series so i suppose i don't know if it's kind of made way over to the states yet but if you haven't heard of it you definitely should check it out it is very very funny and i would say also quite original quite different from a lot of other stuff i read and also yeah it's not it's a non-fiction it's middle grade so like it's not a big like commitment at all it's under under 300 pages and a lot of it is kind of like lots of pictures so yeah definitely recommend it if you want something quick something light something funny check out the series this was for all i know maybe this book is awful but yeah the first book in the series was very very good so i'm kind of just assuming that it's also very good yeah, for most part, that kind of is how it works. I mean, second books can sometimes be bad, but they're really awful. Like, if the series is good, like, as a whole. But, yeah, anyway. And then we have The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Which, yeah, I suppose you wouldn't really think that you would see this book in my channel, because I haven't told that that much. But, yeah, I do it for home games, because, yeah, honestly, it's not my tea. It's not my cup of tea. I... I I read, I think I read all the Hunger Games books. Yeah, I read all of them back in my day. And I saw the first two movies. I don't think I actually ever saw the last one. But yeah, um, I just I just kind of felt there was too much violence, but I suppose it is the content of it. Like, the basis of Hunger Games is, like, violence. So, like, if you don't like violence, that's not your, your kind of jam, really. Uh, but yeah, but I did end up um, joining a book club uh, last month, and we're gonna read this as the first book. So, yeah, second one to four team, and like everyone else was like, yes, and I'm like, okay, okay, I can read it. And but I suppose, yeah, I think I always heard also heard that this book is not as good as Hunger Games, but like, I suppose if it's badly written or whatever, then I could just like read it and just complain about it to the other people in the book group. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not like it's awful to read bad books it's just like, i mean you want to read good books but like i think the worst book worst experience really to read is like when you read a book that's yours kind of kind just like meh it existed you didn't really have any thoughts about it at all it just it's a book that exists and yeah i mean i think this will probably give me some thoughts and ideas to argue about or talk about i'm thinking so yeah and then we have Du kan ikke lage en potet. Essays and articles about literature and society. So yeah, it's an original book. Essays about literature. So yeah, of course, I love essays. I love literature. So definitely going to have this book. And then we have The Dragon Blood Ring by Amparo Ortiz. This is the second. And I want to say last. I think it's last in this duology. Well, it's the second book, so if it's last, it would have to be a duology. But yeah, in this series, it was very to say. And uh, yeah, it's all set in a world where you have dragons, and it's was, yeah, because it's dragons, and you have like a um, you have a competition with the dragons, so it's kind of home games ish because, like, if you have a comp competition with the dragons, like the dragons could kill you and stuff. So like, there is violence in there, but it's also like dragons. And yeah, I uh, I am that basic. If there's dragons someplace in something, I'm like, oh, cool, give it to me. So yeah, uh, I got uh, yeah. So yeah, I read the first book two years ago, one year ago, two years ago. The first book is not from the picture, but its first book is called. I'm checking out what it's called again. And it doesn't say here, no, no, of course it doesn't say here. Yeah, the first book is called The Blaze Rock Games. 
And yeah, I love that book. So yeah, very excited to read this one as well. Don't think I'll read it soon because they have packed summer plans, but yeah, might probably sit with it this year, I'm thinking. Yes, uh, I just kind of have to check something. Sorry, and then we have Asta Hansen or Jakten Prosesskap. As you have guessed, this is a Norwegian book. It's uh, illustrated, so you see it. Well, it's a comic book um, autobiography. Well, sorry, not, it's not autobiography. It's a comic book biography of Asta Hansen. She was one of the suffragettes in Norway, and she was kind of very aggressive. She was very out there. She was lesbian, or it's not confirmed because she lived before it was legal in Norway, but pretty sure she's a lesbian. Like the rumors are that she was. Um, she was quite different. She kind of, she's one of those people who like, I'm doing me and you do you, but I'm going to be me myself completely. And um, yeah. I love Marta Brands and Jenny Jordan's other collaborations. So yeah, this has actually been one of my anticipated reads of this year. And yeah, and also Marta Brand and uh, Jenny Jordan has done other stuff before. A lot of the other books are out in English. They're written Women in Battle and Women You Should Know About. So yeah, if you kind of if you're in a mood for like a, a picture-based yeah, historical feminist story, check out the other books. I suppose also you could buy this book if you want, like just kind of look at the nice pictures. So yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Phanotyper, Diktatorer og Tyranner. So this is a non-fiction book that I found at a like, uh, yeah, at a, at a little free library book, a little free library place. And it's, I it just have lots of stories about, uh, about dictators and evil men in history. And uh, yeah, here for that. It is uh, like a little informative things. It is a book about 70 pages, so a quick read, but yeah. And give me a moment. Post Magic by Emma Mills. And yeah, this is a book I found in the nerdy store that I love, Outland, I talked about it before. I just kind of very much like the Cover it, and it's been described as a cozy fantasy, which yeah, definitely here for. So yeah, I'm not saying that I'll read it soon, but I'm thinking I'm gonna read this this fall probably. Will. Not that unlikely, really. Then we have horrible histories, the woeful Second World War, rats, hats, and lots of rats. So yeah, Horrible Histories, if you don't know, it's kind of like a British concept where it's both, it's a TV series, it's, uh, well, it's one movie, and probably maybe some other stuff as well, but they also have some books, and it's all about those kind of like, they have, they like, they take uh, historical different things, like historical wars, they take historical people, like Henry VIII and whatnot, and they write books or write things uh, meant for kids. And it's a kind of British thing. I've heard about it because I I very much like like BBC things, but I haven't like seen and I've seen because there's some stuff on YouTube from like from it, so I've seen some of it, like some of the songs and stuff, and I think they look kind of nice and fun. But I haven't read any of the books. But I think like I don't know, I think maybe horrible history is probably meaning like a children's TV more than like books, but there's books as well. And yeah, so I read this already. I read it yesterday. Or well, yeah, it was yesterday and the day before. But yeah, it's a book about Second World War. A lot of it I know, a lot of it I didn't know. So yeah, kind of fun where you have you have pictures and there's quizzes and fun facts. Well fun facts are more, but yeah, I suppose interesting facts. Probably a better way to say that, but yeah. I think I probably might pick up more these horrible histories because it's kind of fun to like have a, because 
yeah, I mean, it's not meant for me because I'm way over the internet, internet uh, target audience. It's true. Kind of fun to like have a quick historical read, really. Non-fiction read. So yeah, horrible histories. Check it out if you're inclined for that kind of stuff. And then we have some other recent art books. The Charm Offensive by Alison Cook Cookman. Yeah. Uh, it's an adult uh, male male romance. And I've heard very good things about this one. So, yeah. And then we have Trust of the Emerald Sea by Brandon, Brandon Sanderson. Heard very good things about this one. And uh, also have quite like the cover. So, yeah. Then we have a few more. Oh, that's an old book. Give me a moment. Those ones will be in here. Yeah. Mot Noravin uh, and Den Sivne Bulgen. So, this is two books that I found in the Free Library. Mm. And uh, yeah, uh, there are books that are. Uh, there are uh, let's put it again. They're text and uh, email based, and it, they're also both written by a German, so it's kind of fun to re re read something that's not written in English or like by an Englishman or American one. So, yeah, and I haven't really heard that much about it, but like the back of it has like some good reviews of it. So, yeah, hopefully, it lives up to the, to the hype. And uh, yeah, that, my dear friends, is my news, newsly bought things. For some reason I thought I had more, but apparently I did not. I suppose maybe I've forgotten some things. Ah, I've forgotten some things, I'll just have them in another hallway. Really. There was, there was sure or more. Maybe there weren't. Weren't there more? No? No, probably not. Yeah, anywho, if there's more, well, I've forgotten them. Oh, big deal. End of the world. Not. But yeah, um, if you want to talk to me about books that you bought recently, please do so in the comments, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. So yeah, I'm back, because I knew there were some more books and I just found them, so here they are. So I got a Red Wall by Brian Jacks. So this is, um, I want to say British, let me just double check, I'm pretty sure the author is British. Blah 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 blah, he's from Liverpool, yeah, he's British. So this is a British middle grade, I want to say, and it's earlier, but yeah, at least it's a kids, um, it's a kids classic. This is the first in a series of 15. I want to say a lot of books. Yeah, looks like a lot of books. And like, it was rumored to be a TV series, not a movie, by Disney, Netflix, someone a few years ago. That, that didn't happen because things are rumored all the time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this. Uh, this kind of just sounds like a bit, uh, bit of fun, really. But I also heard about it recently from Lena, uh, or Lena, over at Lena Norms. She talked about how good this book was, but she also talked like how weird it was and it wasn't really famous or, or other places, because like, her friend from Netherlands hadn't heard about it. And yeah, me as a Norwegian, like, as a kid I didn't know about it. I mean, as an adult, knowing about books, I have heard about it. But like, I haven't heard a lot about it. Like, I do know that it's like, based around this mouse who fights with swords and stuff. But I don't really know that much about it. And uh, yeah, um, I'm kind of excited to go, curious to get to this, because it's kind of fun to get into it, something that you know it's famous and beloved, but you don't really know that much about it. So it's probably going to be easier to enjoy, because if you know about something and you know like this and this happened, like, it's old series, but I don't like. I can't say I know any character names or whatnot. So, because I mean, sometimes things are spoiled for you just by the fact that they're old. Like Star Wars, I knew that 
who the father was long before I saw the movie, though I've never really been exposed to that anyway, but yeah. But yeah, um, kind of safe to have this one. I kind of indulge into a new series. I mean, it's 15 books, so it's a, lo it's a long series. So I suppose maybe I won't enjoy it. Oh yeah, and I, I, I do have this one and the fourth one, because I found the fourth one used in a bookstore earlier this year. So yeah, now I have two books in the series, so yeah. And then we have Remarkable Creatures uh, by Tracy Chevalier, and it's all about uh, I'm not quite sure if this is a book based on real life. Yeah, it's based on real life, but it's a fictionalized story. And I believe it's like it's two lesbians living in the 1800s and whatnot, but also they're, they're being scientists. So, yeah. And then we have Shaken or Stir, classic cocktails, cool drinks, mocktails, and bar snacks. And yeah, I'm kind of wanting to kind of get into making cocktails. It's kind of like a thing I kind of want to do. Like, yeah, I don't really like wine. I don't really like beer, but I like cocktails. And I kind of want to want learn to make them. So I have this one, and I also have another cocktail book. Well, I suppose this one is big cocktail book. But yeah, I think it's kind of a cool book to have. And then I have Songs of Wopen. He studied on science slagcraft. So yeah, it's a Norwegian book. Norwegian non-fiction all about how books how books how songs are used in in protests or when you protest stuff and demonstrations. So yeah. I might I suppose I might read this like I might read this this month because it's non-fiction month here in Norway. But maybe I'll wait for it. I'm not quite sure, but I own it anyway. I got it from the Free Library, and um, yeah, I have it. So yeah, that, my dear friends, is all my recently bought books. And uh, yeah, as usual, as if you have thoughts, comments, things you want to say about any of the books, please do in the doobly-doo, well, in the doobly-doo, in the comments, and I'll see you soon. Bye.